What's up guys, Jimmy from Mountain Bike Travel Review here and we are back for round two of our G-Form product review. Now why do I need a round two review? Well, G-Form has been innovating and putting out new products and I wanna keep you guys as educated as possible. Also, they just released a brand new product line today, September 9th, that I've been testing out in the woods and I want you guys to check out. Now if you haven't checked out the first review video, I urge you to click the link above and go check that out. That breaks down the detailed science behind G4 pads and the technology that they're using to keep you safe out on the trails. There's M&Ms, there's a giant zucchini, you just don't want to miss this video, so make sure you check it out if you haven't seen it before. Long story short, G-Form uses a foam technology that is now trademarked as SmartFlex. In my last video, it was called Reactive Protective Technology. Basically, it's a flexible foam that hardens upon impact and absorbs the energy from a crash, thus protecting your body parts. Now, before we jump into this, if you are not subscribed to the channel and you like my videos, please do so. That's the only way to support YouTubers like us. Click that like button, leave a comment, and let me know what you think. Now, let's get into some of the new products. First things first, let's talk about G-Form's new Serata gloves. Now, these are their new lightweight trail glove. You might remember from my previous video, the G-Form had just released the Pro Trail Glove. The Serata has that same mesh top fit to keep your hands nice and cool. It has a similar material on the palm, a nice grip material. Primary difference, it doesn't have the strap here to tighten or loosen. It is a form-fitting flex strap that happens to fit me very well. Overall, it's just a great glove. I've been running these for a few months now. It's light, it's simple, throw it on, throw it off. You don't have to worry about it. So again, a nice budget-friendly light trail glove, a great addition to their lineup. Highly recommend these. Next up, let's jump into the Pro Rugged knee pads that they launched late last year in 2019. Now, if you recall from my last video, I showed off the Pro X2 knee pad. This is still my favorite trail knee pad, super lightweight, super simple, but there was definitely a lot that G-Form could do to improve this. So they did, and they came out with the Pro Rugged knee pads. So these are a little beefier, still a nice lightweight trail pad that you can use every day, but again, a little beefier, a little more protective and some added features. Now, now just like the Pro X2 pad, they use that Smart Flex technology so you can feel there is still the foam inside here that is soft, flexible, but then hardens upon impact. With the Pro X2, the first thing you'll notice is that they definitely beefed up the pad itself. So the pad's a little thicker, it's a little wider, it covers a little more of the knee, which is great to see. The compression material on the Pro Rugged is also a little better. It's thicker, it feels like a double stitch, it holds that compression a little better, whereas the Pro X2 can slowly wear out over time and remove lose some of its elasticity. Now on the Pro X2, they also had the same material, that same compression material wrapped around the entire pad. On the Pro Rugged, it's that nice compression material, but in the back behind your knee is actually this super thin mesh. And this mesh allows the back of your leg to breathe, which makes these pads a lot cooler, even though most of it is a heavier compression material. Now, I think the biggest upgrade on the Pro Rugged pads is going to be this Armor Tex material that they put over that Smart Flex foam. This Armor Tex material is a game changer. It's a Kevlar based tear resistant material, so another layer of protection to not only protect this from general tears, but really it's going to protect your knees even better because it's not gonna allow any sharp materials, rocks, sticks to get through and get to your knees. I've been running these for a while now, and as you can see, there's literally no damage, not a single scratch or tear, so it's working. Now probably one of the biggest upgrades is going to be the adjustable strap on the top. Previous to this, G-Form had no adjustability on their pads. So they added this Velcro strap at the top that allows you to tighten it down, keep it where you need it to be. It actually works really well and is hardly noticeable. That being said, with these pads, there's also a specific left and right pad, just so you know. Now, in addition to that, I flipped this pad inside out so you can see there's a nice light foam layer on the inside of that Smart Flex foam to keep it nice and comfortable on your knee. They doubled up the silicone band on the top to help the pads hold in place. They also have that silicone band at the bottom to help maintain placement on your body. For the first few rides, the foam didn't really form well to my knee, but after a few rides and wearing it in, now you can see how soft they are. They fit right to my leg and they're extremely comfortable. Overall, I love the Pro Rugged pads. They made some necessary changes. They made some serious upgrades. It fits better, feels better. It's more durable. So kudos to them. I use it for most of my trail riding, even some of my bigger stuff out there. Now to break up all my talking, here's some footage of me out in the trails in the Pro Rugged Pads. Now, 
Now again, these are a great pad, highly recommended, but they still left something to be desired for those really raw, rocky, gnarly trails. Is there enough protection here when you put these up against some of the hard shell pads out there? Well, G-Form knew that, so they made another product line. I'd like to introduce you to the new G-Form E-Line product line. This is the next big step for G-Form, and these things are awesome. Now the E-Lines are a truly innovative line. This is G-Form taking everything they've learned, but also taking a slightly different approach to their pads. The first thing you'll notice on the E-Line pad is it has a hard shell. This is huge. They took that same Smart Flex foam with the Armortex Kevlar blend tear resistant material and then they put a nice but still flexible hard shell on the outside. This means if you're racing enduro, doing those gnarly downhill trails, you hit some rocks, you have a better chance of this sliding across those sharp hard materials and protecting your knees rather than that material getting caught and potentially even pulling the pad down off your knee. G-Form has never done anything with a hard shell so big step in the right direction now in addition to that the biggest change you'll notice is that they are not the full back body contour material these have both bottom and top adjustability so they open and close fully they still have that silicone seal at the top and the bottom to hold it in place then it's all open in the back except for this one flexible mesh material with a zipper so this is where you can actually slide your leg in or you can unzip it to open it up, put it on, zip this back on, and then you strap it into place. Some really nice strong Velcro, some nice strong holding tabs to keep that in place. I love the fact that you can put these pads on without having to slide it all the way up your leg. In addition to that, you can see that this material they use on the outside, the compression material, is even nicer and it almost has this slight density to it. So it's a little foam protection everywhere that that material covers your leg. There's also little side pads that you can see here. So there's a nice sew piece here on the side and here that's giving you even more protection around the side of your leg in that calf area. They even have a new stitch for all the material which is a flat stitch so it doesn't give you any irritation when it rubs on the inside of your leg. Very well thought meticulously made knee pads. These things are super nice. Now the cool thing about these in addition to the knee pads they also came out with Sheblam elbow pads. So again, that same upgraded protection, all of the benefits you're seeing from the knee pad. The difference with the elbow pad is there's only one adjustable strap here on the bottom, and these do still slide on over your arm. On those beefier, gnarly enduro races, I'll definitely be using these, and I love the fact that I can have a hard shell on my elbows, but still be super comfortable. Now, because they are the full pullover style, again, this material in the back is going to be that super thin, breathable mesh. Then there's a really strong stitch here holding it all together again just a really well made durable elbow pad and the next step for g-form now you can clearly tell that I am a fan of the G-Form products. Not only are they a great fit, they're super comfortable, they're durable, and they have superior protection. But the biggest thing for me is that they're innovating. They're young, they're learning, and they're always trying to make their products better. You can see a natural progression from their Pro Trail gloves to the Serata gloves, from the Pro X2 pads to the Pro Rugged, and now to the E-Line pads. They're always trying to improve, and that to me is what makes a great company. Now, as always, I hope this video was helpful helpful for you guys. If you like the video, make sure you click that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please do click that subscribe button and follow along for more. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below. I will leave links to all of the G-Form products, including the new E-Line below for you guys to check out, as well as some other information in the description. Make sure you keep riding, guys. You.